It's Monday and we are in safe hands. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the show, ladies. It's day 13. I can't believe we haven't had a goalkeeper on yet. It's a shame, really. I know, right? So that's why we got the two of you on. <laughs> Great, isn't it? Um, Ellie, some people at home might be wondering why we've got four mm -hmm. keepers out here. So can you explain your role at the tournament with the team? Yeah, so I'm basically here to obviously assist these guys in training, kind of just help them really with whatever they need and then just, yeah, get involved, get on the pitch and yeah, it's been fun. Yeah, and Karen, you are super experienced. How vital is it having Ellie out here with the team and also for the GK Union? Yeah. Well, I think she underplayed her role a little bit just then, but she's much more than just like a training goalkeeper. Yeah. Um, you know, like sh her energy, her enthusiasm at training has been a big part of, you know, what has been so enjoyable about the trip so far. I think all the pictures and stuff that's coming out of the camp, you know, we're all having a yeah. good time, you know, like chasing mannequins around yeah. and all sorts of stuff. So yeah, she's been a really integral part of, of the union and the team. Um, and you know what, like she's done a massive, massive role for us in terms of, you know, getting in, in terms of like finishing practices, in terms of just like, again, her energy, like just challenging us all the time. Um, but yeah, more importantly, I think I, I like bounce off her a lot. So yeah. like um, I get a lot of enjoyment from just being around Ellie and, and you know, the, the opportunity to come to a major championship at the senior level. Look at you grinning. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, you're so embarrassed. <laughs> um, that's his sunburn, so he's not I blushing. Like I feel like I'm at parents' evening. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I'm so proud of Ellie. Oh like, my God, I'm such a teacher <laughs> right now. <laughs> but it's really yeah. more a team of 24 lines. Yeah, isn't absolutely. It? But, I, you know, I would say like, um, what, what she's experiencing now is going to really set her up nicely for the future as well, because there's no doubt in my mind that she'll be a part of the senior team uh, in the future. So, um, yeah, it is, a, it is a group of 24, and I think um, everyone's really just embraced it, you yeah. know, and like really just kind of included you in every yeah, single thing. So. And you've got some good mates on the team already, so, mm -hmm. you know, I don't think it's anything that's kind of unusual for you. So. And you must be learning so much out here, Ellie. Yeah, definitely. Every day. Um, we've had like some really good sessions, haven't we? Mm. But like the main thing, it's been like really fun. I've just enjoyed it. Yeah. So I think the more you can enjoy it, the more it's going to help these guys. Um, and yeah, just trying to be relaxed and chilled. And she is super yeah. chilled. Honestly, it's great. <laughs> it's great. And, and it's obviously helping to prepare you for future tournaments yeah, as well. Yeah, 100%. So obviously I'm getting the experience now, um, so that hopefully in the future I'll know like kind of what to expect. Yeah, yeah. And it'll kind of make that life a lot easier for me. Yeah, and Karen, it's your third World Cup. How does it compare to the others so far? Um, yeah, that's a, that's a good question. Um, I think going back to 2011, um, the amount of coverage and, and kind of media around the tournament, like the yeah. hype around the tournament is just increased, you know, from 2011 to 2015 to now. And it's, it's, um, it feels really special, you know, like 2015 obviously was, was massive, but uh, we kind of picked up momentum as we, as we went along, you know, through the end of the group stages into the knockout and so on. And I think like we've kind of had that from the off. Um, and, you know, we're really proud to feel the amount of support that we have back home. You know, people are sending messages, oh, you, you're doing this, you're doing that. And it's great to feel that from back home because we do, it does feel like an extra Well, the last game was pretty man, much like it? a home game. Yeah, it's yeah, weird. Yeah, yeah. Like, I was walking around and I was like, like we could literally be in England right It was now. amazing. Yeah. Some of the, the chants, like the sounds and the, the, the atmosphere in the stadium, it was, it, it did... You're right, absolutely. Yeah, felt like and a seeing home game. that level of support. Um, I've got to admit, I've become a little bit obsessed with watching the goalkeeper training videos online. You guys just throwing yourselves about. Mm -hmm. If you haven't seen them before, check these guys out in training. Right, 
Like, what on earth possesses you as young girls to throw yourselves around saving shots? So, uh, there's something not right. <laughs> not right. <laughs> <laughs> mm, I, like, it's just a weird, like, position, isn't it? So you've got to be a bit tapped to do it. <laughs> But I do put myself up there as like a normal goalkeeper. Yeah, like KB's wacky. In comparison to me, okay. she's probably the most normal. Mm. normal so that's yeah. the thing, right? That goalkeepers are a bit quirky. It's a perception I think yeah. you're yeah. trying to change. I'm right? out of that. <laughs> <laughs> not me, Ellie, not, not me. me. Right, we're going to play a game of higher or lower Lionesses edition. So, how, yeah, thank you. How this works, we've got the first player here. So, Karen, we're going to use you as the example. You need to guess if the next player has a higher or lower number of caps than the one before. Karen, you're going to go up first. <laughs> do, you, do you know how many caps you have? Yeah, yeah. in a ballpark, yeah. A ball, okay, right. Well, <laughs> well, I know. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Right. Okay, so Karen has 78 caps. Oh. Will the next player have higher or lower? Uh, I'm going to say lower. Okay, turn it over. Tony, who has 72 caps? Oh, well close. done, that was close. Okay, was right, close. good start. Jeez. Next player, higher or lower than 72 caps? Oh, tough one. Could be anybody. <laughs> got quite a young 24 squad. 24 players. <laughs> quite a young squad. Shut your mouth. <laughs> I'm going to say <laughs> higher. Okay, turn it over. Oh, Kaz with 142 Ooh. caps. At least you're I doing well. Mine, right? <laughs> okay, I mean, th and this is kind of obvious, isn't it? Higher or lower? lower. 142 caps. Yes, turn it over. Jade Yay. Moore with 47 caps. Well Ooh, done. Oh, that's like now, in the middle of the park. This, yeah. So this is tough. This is the last one. Higher or lower? I reckon, caps. I reckon you might throw something in there that, to trick me. So I don't know, this is my poker face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say lower, just to throw a, a bomb in there. Okay. Oh, no. Correct. No, 41 caps. She got last. Yeah. Oh, right. Well done. Well done. Well, no. Nailed it. Wow, smashed okay, it. KB absolutely smashed it. Now, no pressure, Ellie, but you kind of have to win everything. <laughs> so... First up, Jill Scott. Can you guess how many caps Jill has? Lots. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's Lots. quite true. 138. So, wow. higher or lower than Jill? Oh my goodness. Lower, surely. I Don't mean, look at me. Is any, <laughs> Kaz has got more, right? Oh, I, no. can't, I can't give that away, Ellie. Yeah, so, wait, there should be no doubles in this situation. There, there aren't any doubles, okay. I can confirm. Alright. You're going lower? Lower, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Steph, yeah, 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 with 107 caps. Well done, oh, good start, no. good start. Right, higher or lower than Steph? I'm going to go lower again because that's quite a good number. Okay, turn it over. <laughs> I feel like that's like... that's. A... Yes, <laughs> Nikita with 36 <laughs> caps. So, and the next one, because that's quite I'm trying tough. Trying to like channel who's in the team. Yeah, that, that would be helpful. Hi, <laughs> higher or lower <laughs> than Nikita's 36 caps? Mm. That's a tough one. It is that a tough is, one. Yeah. I'm going to go higher. OK. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alex with 39 caps now. Oh. Whoa. OK. Right, you I'm, get this, I know this one. Then you're even. How do I know you? it. How? Of course. It's, it's, it's going to be like, a ringer. Who's your source? It's, it's a ringer. It's, yeah, it's got to be a baby. I reckon it's a... Lower. I'm going lower. OK. Wait, how many were that? <laughs> huh? How many? That was 39 for Alex. Are you, are you sure with trust your decisions? You, yeah. Trust your instincts. Trust your instincts. I'm my okay. Yay! <laughs> That's what I knew it was going to be. <laughs> well, um, I don't think we really planned for the both of you absolutely smashing that. We don't really have um, a prize, so you can win a That's mug. Like, um, Neil's quiz. Oh, I need no a mug. Prizes. Yeah, great, I fantastic. Need a coffee mug. Yeah. Um, well, you guys can win a better prize than that. I'll tell you about it in a sec. Oh. If you take this pen and go sign the front of the car for us. Thank you so much. Wow. <laughs> right, uh, if you don't want to win a mug, listen to this, because throughout the competition here on Lionesses Daily, we're giving you the chance to win amazing prizes thanks to the Lionesses Supporters Club. So next up is the chance to win, not a mug, but, hold on, a pair of Fran Kirby's boots. And they're signed. Amazing, right? Now, I know you want to win those, so to enter, all you've got to do is go to the link on the screen and answer a simple question. We'll announce the winner ahead of the game against Japan. Good luck. Right, whilst they get on with signing the car, here is their Manchester City teammate, Georgia Stanway, on what it means to be a lioness.
Georgia Stanway and I'm a lioness. To be a lioness is the best thing in the world. It's the proudest moment for yourself and your family and you wouldn't want to be anywhere else. The characteristics of a lioness on the pitch are definitely hard work, sticking to the game plan, being selfless, so doing things for your mate and doing it as a family. On and off the pitch, I expect my teammates to just enjoy themselves. We love spending time together, so just create as many memories as we can. In order for me to have reached the world stage, I've definitely been supported by my family. Without them, I wouldn't be here today. A massive thank you to my family, my friends back home, the people that are closest to me, and I couldn't have done it without them, and I'm so, so grateful to be here for them. Right, someone you guys know very well, Georgia. Now, I want to ask you this, because the GK Union, you hear that term a lot. What does it actually mean? How does it work? I think to call it a GK Union, it's got to be a good one, and you've right. got to like, kind of mean it, because everyone can say they've got a GK Union, yeah. but I'm not so sure it's as good as what Yours. <laughs> Big shout there, Ellie. I think it's like an appreciation, you know, like for everyone knows how difficult it can be. Yeah. Um, like physically and mentally and stuff like that and it's it's such a unique position that only someone that plays it can truly understand uh -huh. so like we all know yeah. that there's only one shirt and yeah. we all know that you know you can't go up play as a nine you know if you just yeah, don't yeah. fancy it or yeah. oh maybe this one could but <laughs> you're like speak for yourself Karen. Full, full back the other day <laughs> but um, you know I think I think getting your head around that can be quite difficult so yeah. you know for it to be a true gk union like ellie says i think you have to like genuinely be supportive and genuinely mean yeah i think it's just got level everybody's respect. back you know yeah. yeah it's a level of respect how hard is it knowing that there is only that one spot then mm, it is hard but i guess it's just kind of it's always been that way yeah, it's not exactly. like any different it's not yeah. changed like the role's not changed since you've grown up so if you pretty much grow up knowing that there's only going to be one spot then obviously it's competitive and mm -hmm. you've got to like kind of grow up with knowing that you're going to have to compete at some stage and I guess if you want to play at the top you're always going to have that competition so it's just what comes with a job role really I think. Right that's all we have time for thank you so much for coming on the show quickly can you just give us a little message for any aspiring young goalkeepers out there? If you don't enjoy it you're not going to be a keeper because yeah. it's kind of tough. Yeah, I think just, you know, you just got to be brave and just go for it. You know, you can't have any sort of fear. You know, I think that's why there's something different about goalkeepers that most yeah. people want to avoid the ball, obviously. And we're just like, yeah, let's throw ourselves in the way. And yeah. Um, yeah. I think uh, my probably biggest learning is that you just have to be open minded. You have to be able to adapt really quickly because for me personally, the game's changed so much since mm -hmm. I started playing. Um, you know, you could throw the ball to the goalkeeper from a throw and they could pick it up. You could pass the ball back, yeah, they could pick yeah. it up. Now, obviously, everything kind of evolves and, and involves us using our feet as well. Mm -hmm. So, um, being comfortable playing outfield, those sorts of things yeah. are really important. But, yeah, at the end of the day, you just got to make sure you have fun and enjoy it. Cause awesome. No point otherwise. Thank you so much. Right, that's it from us. We'll see you back here at the same time tomorrow.